The Google team is cooking as there is now a new open source CLI tool that just released called Google CLI and it's aimed to be an alternative to cloud code but while being open source and free to access. Gemini CLI is a light, powerful open source AI agent that brings Gemini directly within your terminal. This is where you can write code, debug, and automate tasks with the Gemini 2.5 Pro model. With industry leading high usage limits at no cost. It's a local CLI that's going to help you build and maintain software. And what's also nice is that you get a thousand requests a day with 60 requests an hour for free using the Gemini 2.5 Pro. And what's nice is that it's super simple to install as this is open source and it is something that will run directly within your CLI after you have the prerequisites fulfilled. And it's something that we're going to be showcasing later on in the video. It's currently in preview, but the Gemini CLI brings an AI driven code understanding. This is where it has the ability to understand your code base, file manipulation, command execution, and dynamic troubleshooting in your command line. It lets you write code, debug, and streamline tasks using natural language. You have a lot of cool features like ground prompts with Google search. This is where you can get real time web context. And you also have the ability to extend Gemini CLI's capability through a built-in support for MCP servers and built-in extensions. You can even customize prompts for specific workflows. And you also have the ability to automate tasks and integrate seamlessly into existing scripts that you may have. What's nice is that this is under the Apache 2.0 license, so you can use it for commercial use cases or for your personal use case as well. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. What's also nice is that they have integrated it within Code Assist, which is another coding agent that is an extension that you can access within an IDE, and they have now integrated the CLI within the extension. So you can use it thoroughly within an IDE and it's gonna be able to help you execute terminal-based commands now with Code Assist. So you may be wondering, what is the difference between Gemini command line interface versus Cloud Code? Well, the main thing is that Cloud is not something that is completely free and open source as Gemini CLI is something that is under the Apache 2.0 license. It is also something that has a larger context window, which is ideal for broad accessibility and larger projects. This is where Cloud Code is something that lacks a bit in that category, but it also offers superior code structure and engineering capabilities, but may come with access costs and a smaller context window. But overall, both of them are great, and there's still a lot left with the Gemini CLI to be upgraded upon as it's still in preview mode. So there's still a lot of edits that will be coming to this and it's something that will continuously and rigorously edited as time goes. Now to get started, it's really simple. It's something that will require you to have Node.js version 18 or higher. So make sure you have this installed. I'll leave a link to this as well as everything else in the description below. But once you have this prerequisite fulfilled, you can run this within the CLI. This is a command that you can use with MPX. So simply open up your command prompt and simply paste in this command, which will work on installing the Gemini CLI into your terminal. All you need to do is click on Y to proceed the installation process, which will install the packages. And once that is complete, we can simply install or start it up with the Gemini command, which is a simple single command that you can then paste in within your terminal. You also have the ability to install this using NPM after it'll open up and this is what you'll be greeted with. This is the Gemini CLI and you first have the ability to select the theme. So you can choose the default theme. You can choose different sorts of themes that fit your requirement. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it as the default one. After selecting the theme, you can then have it so that you can select the authentication method. You can log in with your Google account or you can provide a Gemini API key. And this is so that you can use it for advanced use cases and increase limits. So this way, if you want to use it for more than 60 generations or requests an hour, or for more than a thousand requests a day, you can then use your own API key. But you can simply authenticate with 
a Google account, which is completely free, and you will be able to access it 100% uh, for free for a thousand requests a day. So I'm gonna authenticate with the Google account. After you finish authenticating it, you're gonna be then greeted with this uh, interface. And this is where you can then start typing in a message or you can add a certain type of path that you wanna work in. Now, what they recommend is that you CD into a new project and then implement the Gemini command to start up the CLI and then you can have it do anything like write me a Gemini Discord bot that answers questions using FAQ or you can do something like have it deployed into an existing project where you clone it and then you can CD into the Gemini CLI directory and then you can start up Gemini and you can ask it to give me a summary of all the changes that went in yesterday. So let's actually try this out to showcase how it works. So what I can do is simply within a new terminal, I can open it up. I can clone this repository of Gemini CLI, and then I can head over into that CLI directory. So once it has finished cloning, I can then go into it, and then I can type in Gemini to start up the CLI. And then now I can write in any sort of prompt, like giving me a summary of all the changes that went in since I'm within that directory itself. So I can click enter and you can see right away it is going to work on executing this task. So right now it is working on determining the scope, figuring out what went through using web searching capabilities, and it'll go through each step with you. So there's a human in the loop aspect to it. You can allow it once, you can allow always with the git command, or you can click no. So in this case, I'm gonna allow it always to expedite this process and let's see what it was capable of outputting for us. And there we go, we have an output. This is where it talks about the new implementations of the key features and fixes, the OAuth 429 failover, uh, the documentation and user experiences. And these are some of the things that were changed within the GitHub repository of Google CLI. What's also cool is that you can connect to tools and MCP servers, and this is where you can have it even generate images using VO. So if you actually click on this, there's a couple of MCP servers for Google Cloud Gen Media APIs that you can actually work with. This is where you can have it create 30 second videos of anything. So in this case, you can see that there's a video of a cat that is being generated on a plane. Now, if you click on the slash command, there's so many different commands that you can use from uh, asking about the version itself, the authentication, clearing the chat, using MCPs. And they actually have an MD that talks about the configurations of MCPs, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. It's super simple to set up and there's a step-by-step -step process as to how you can use and set up MCPs. But going back into the CLI, they also have the ability to use various sorts of things like submitting a bug report you can clear the chat obviously compress the context by uh, replacing it with a summary open the full uh, gemini cli documentation the editor uh, and you also have so many other things like memory stats uh, the theme and the best part is there's external tools that you can implement there's already built-in tools that are already within the cli like the read folder read file, uh, searching text, Google search, and so much more like saving memory. So I can do things like giving me the stats for my current session, and it'll tell you the current tokens that were used, the input tokens and the output tokens. And then I can do something like using tools. This is where I can use something like Google search. So I can say search uh, or tell me about the weather in New York City today. And then it is gonna work on finding that using the Google search tool. It's gonna search the web and give me the weather in NYC. Now, obviously this is something that I wouldn't use within a CLI, but it's just to demonstrate the tool. Uh, and you can see right now, it is talking about how hot it is in New York City, but let's do something else now. Let's clear the chat and let's say, create me a web app that is a image editor and it is quite modern with a lot of features. Now let's send in this prompt and let's see what it's capable of outputting and how it's able to make the changes as well as the steps it takes to develop this web app. And just like that, it was able to create our image app. And this is where we can simply upload our 
image. This is where I uploaded this. And there's so many different tools that it had worked on. So in this case, I can change the contrast. I can change the brightness. I can even change the hue. We're going to leave that as that. There's also custom filters that were already developed. You can even draw certain things within the actual editor itself. You can highlight certain sections. And there's a lot of different things that it was able to develop all on its own. And this is the capability of the Gemini CLI. Overall, it's a powerful new tool that is absolutely amazing. And it's something that is fully free. So I highly recommend that you take a look at it with the links in the description below. But with that thought, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter. Join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.